So we begin today uh, with a little bit of a project. I'll show you what we're doing. This is a pick guard. I don't normally take just random pick guards from people, but uh, Adam's pick guard comes because he was in our Patreon class, uh, our, our live workshop that we do, which we're actually having one this Sunday. I'll put the date on the screen and we're going to make a pickup, by the way. So we're going to talk about how to make pickups. So you should get in on that. Uh, I'll put a link below. Um, anyway, he, he was having a hard time getting, getting this thing all wired up. And so he wanted to replace the pickups, but I ran into a problem. Um, I didn't know, and maybe I should have known that Parker pickups are not the same size as strap pickups and if they are the person that he got this pick guard from made them a little small so I think I'm gonna have to take a sanding wheel and carefully make this a little bit longer the problem is is we're really close on these screw holes right here and I just don't want to do damage to this thing so anyway it's a little bit of a project so we're going to deal with that today okay let's dive a little bit into this inductance thing just a little bit so this is a neck pickup our classic five set uh going out to a customer pretty soon um look at the inductance there two uh henry's uh these have not been magnetized yet so now we're going to go magnetize it and we're going to look at the difference we've magnetized the pickup and now we're at almost 2.3 Henry's. So, a couple takeaways from this. When people say you make a change, uh, like in the video last week, this is why I want to drill into this a little bit more about why someone may have only seen small changes when like adding a metal base plate. We're gonna do the same thing with a tally pickup here in a minute. We got 0.3 Henry's just with magnet strength, which means that different magnet strength can affect it because again, it's the efficiency of the entire coil uh, doing what it's supposed to do. So now let's do it with a Tele Bridge pickup in a couple of phases. Okay, so here is a Tele Bridge pickup before it has been uh, magnetized. So just, just freshly wound with the leads on it. 2.2 Henry's, okay? No base plate, no magnetism. Now we're gonna magnetize it then we'll check the the inductance. Then we'll put the plate on the bottom and we'll check the inductance again. So before magnetism, what were we at? 2.2 on this one. Um, now we're pretty close to 2.5, 2.47 with just being magnetized. So the reason I bring this up is because hen the millihenries or henries or inductance is a total efficiency of the pickup. All of the conditions being present. So if you just measure a coil by itself, um, that's not the same as measuring it when it's all assembled because watch this, 2.47. We're gonna do a couple fun things here, watch. 2.47, whatever. Let's magnetize it, 2.65. So we got 0.2. Now, for the person in the comments in last week's video who is like, if you put it on top, somebody's gonna give you a hard time about putting it on top and it's not gonna be right. So, put it on the bottom, same number, doesn't matter. So there you go, pretty interesting, right? Unmagnetized to magnetized, then to base plate. Uh, we got literally 0.6, 2.2.4 uh, Henry's from non magnetized coil to magnetized coil to with a magnetic plate on the bottom. Now, that also basically speaks to the fact that the strength of the magnet is going to matter uh, as well as the coil size. So it's not just the coil size that determines the final inductance of the pickup. Very cool stuff. Oh, hey, so we have some stuff to unbox, and I don't know if you noticed, but over here, it looks like a guitar. Very excited, but I've got a couple other things to share beforehand. 
glass screen protector for my phone because I got a new phone. Apple Pro Max 12 thing. Mm -hmm. I got another one of those little lights you probably saw in a vlog before. Maybe one of the very first vlogs we ever did. Anyway, I got another one of those lights that goes on a stick. Um, yeah, so. Let's use that selfie stick and put that camera on it. Excellent. That works perfectly. Okay. Move on to the next one. I actually think this is from a viewer. In fact, yep, I know it is. A viewer and a friend of mine said he was sending me a surprise. So I don't actually know what's in there. Pedals. <laughs> Pedals. So obviously now that I have the tube amp and a kind of a new plan for that. Um, dude, your pedal's not worth as much because it has Velcro on the bottom. Uh, let's see, Electro Harmonics Canyon. So we got some. Some reverb and some delay here, which is awesome because my little baby amp does not have that. Uh, that's really cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think this is a clon clon. It has a horse on it. I don't know what it is, but I'm assuming it's a clon clon because it has a horse on it and it has knobs that look sort of like a clon. And so I'm very excited about that. Thank you, Mike. This is very cool. This is a surprise. I didn't know it was coming. So that's pretty awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, this is what you're really here for. Ready? This is our next project build. An acrylic strat. How cool is this? How cool is this? Well, I'm very excited. It's not as heavy as I thought. It has a brass nut. I don't think we're gonna use this neck. I don't really care about the neck. But we'll, we'll do a sound test with it before we cut it all apart and do fun stuff with it. Okay, so the number one question everybody wants to know, maybe even more than how it sounds, is how much it weighs. <laughs> 10 pounds, seven ounces. So about like a Les Paul-ish. But what I didn't get to show you outside. <laughs> so dumb, but so cool. It's gonna be a bit of a trick build, I think. I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, so my buddy sent me this clone clone thing. I don't even know what it is. It's just, it's gray and it has a horse on it and it kind of looks like a clon. And he sent me this Electro Harmonics Canyon, which is a delay pedal, but I'm actually just shortening it up and using it as like a reverb. And this is what it sounds like. The drive's a little darker than I'm normally used to. I have the treble almost all the way cranked. Uh, but it's got a nice creamy kind of thing to it. tune up the clear strat and let's see what that thing sounds like right out of the box this is not serious recording this is just vloggy style with the camera on a stick but we got to hear what it at least sounds like I'm fairly certain it's gonna be out of tune 
I mean, I tried to tune it, but no setup. like a guitar. I guess we'll get it. Oh, hang on. Maybe it'll sound better if we go like this. Oh, those fret markers are bright. It doesn't make any noise. So we have plans for the acrylic, clear acrylic guitar. Um, it's gonna be pretty awesome. We're gonna redo all the uh, pickups in it. I'm gonna probably have. I want to maybe change the color of the pick guard. I'm not really sure. Um, we'll see what happens. We got a few things planned for that, and then we got a couple other cool things planned this weekend. I got um, little pieces of carbon fiber to do some test finishes with the um, for the for the GGBO build uh, so that's coming up uh, so you should be seeing that in next week's vlog some of these little things that don't make the main videos for that are gonna go into that you know go into the vlog so just keep an eye out for that that's a weird sounding siren anyway that's it man Make sure you check out our Instagram because we're going to be posting some pictures over there. Uh, you probably saw some funny stuff. We got a couple other <laughs> funny videos coming up. Uh, we got some stuff coming up. You're going to dig it. So I think you'll uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell and uh, check out the Patreon. Do all the things. You know what to do. This is YouTube's. Thanks for hanging out and uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs>